Hi cats and kittens, it's Amy from Savor Salvage Scent and I hope this finds you in a great space. Um, for those of you who are new to this channel, it mostly focuses on all things perfume and fragrance related um, with an occasional other creative or DIY project. And for those of you returning, thank you so much for the continued conversation and encouragement and support. Um, if you haven't yet, if you enjoy this video or content, I sure hope you'll give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel a lot, helps me grow. And if you haven't, I hope you'll hit the red subscribe button so that we can stay in touch and stay in conversation. So today I'm gonna do a brief conversation about five of my favorite lilac dominant perfumes. I absolutely love the scent of lilac. Um, where I live in Cleveland, Ohio, um, we are in that phase of early spring where it could be winter literally one day and um, summer the next day, but it is really spring. Um, the lilacs are soon to, soon to bloom, I would say probably in about between two and maybe four weeks uh, they will be blooming. I have a light purple and a dark purple small in the front of my yard. I can't wait until they get bigger. I grew up with a huge lilac bush uh, in front of my house. I don't know if you can hear my cats are chasing each other around the house. Apologies. Um, that's what they do. Um, and so I thought I would talk about five cents. Uh, I have forever been on a quest to find the perfect lilac perfume. Um, I am first going to talk about a few that are a spring composition that really prominently feature lilac. And then the last couple I'll talk about are ones that to me come off as a um, solo floor or like a single note pure lilac perfume. So. I'm gonna dig right in. Um, would love to hear from you if you love lilac or love lilac scents. Um, I had hoped to get my hands on Amouage's uh, Lilac Love, long story short. Um, I've had a shipping issue and it's been in transit for like literally three months and I don't think it's coming to me. So I'm gonna focus on five that I own and love now and one that's a recent purchase that is like blowing my mind because it is to me the closest thing I've ever experienced to lilac. So. First, I'm going to start with um, one of the grand ladies of perfumes, an eau de toilette in this case, uh, Dior's Diorissimo. This is one of my favorite perfumes, I think one of the best perfumes ever made. This was um, first released in 1956. The nose was Ed Edmund, um, I think it's Rudnitska is the way it's pronounced. Um, this is Tremendous. This is a, I would say, kind of mid-priced perfume. Um, this is a vintage bottle, but if you buy a new bottle, you're probably going to pay about $100 to $150. Um, this I got on Super Sale online. Um, marked down, I think, on Mercari or something. I paid about $40 for it. Um, but this, to me, is a really um, lilac prominent composition, but it's, to me, spring. It is a really bright, almost to the point of being... A little screechy but it calms down after you spray it and then it's like glorious it smells to me like a spring day um, it has a lot of things but um, features a lot of spring flowers so everything from like lily of the valley um, it has a kind of green notes it has a tiny bit of rosemary that might get be what gives it kind of a little bit of a punch it even has like civet and sandalwood, but it has a lot of spring flowers, including lilac. And the lilac is really, I think, um, centered in this. It's really, really, really beautiful. So I just don't think if you like spring florals, you cannot go wrong with Dorisimo. It is a phenomenal scent. Um, yeah. So my first, uh, that's like a, a great lilac composition. A relatively new to me scent um, for those of you who are new to the channel, you might not know I love the um, kind of um, indie house called Alchemia. They're out of Amherst, Massachusetts. The nose is named Ashara Lemero. Um, I have a fair amount of their perfumes. Their perfumes tend to run um, about 45 for a one ounce spray bottle or anywhere from like 16 to 20 for um, a five milliliter oil. They're both great. Some of my favorite perfumes are made by this house. 
Um, and one of the great ways to experience them is to buy a five or 10 pack of samples that ranges, I think from like 20 to 35 or 40, something like that. Um, they're also really generous if you purchase perfumes. Each month they have, if you hit a certain level, I think it's like $50 of purchase. Hope I'm right about that. Um, they throw in a monthly alchemy, they call it, like a new scent they make, a small uh, oil. So that's a great way to try new things. And then they often will throw in a sample too. And um, But I bought sample sets in this case because there were a lot that I wanted to sample. And um, one, so it's interesting. Uh, I purchased, part of the reason I purchased this scent or this sample set is because one of the things I wanted to try was called Lilacs Along the Winding Drive. It is, in fact, a beautiful spring scent, to be very honest. Um, to me, it absolutely smells like violets and greens um, more than lilac. Great scent, but I would not call it lilac-centered in spite of the name. I, I think it's more violet-y to me. However, to my surprise, um, I, I ordered a few other kind of like spring scents, and I'm pretty sure this one is new to them. Um, I'm looking for it right now. It is called Floralis. I believe they don't have a um, release date on their site, but I'm pretty sure this is one of their newer ones. So I don't know if you can see Floralis. Um, this is gorgeous, and I, I didn't, I didn't buy this knowing that it had lilac in it. Honestly, I just grabbed a few new spring scents. Um, this is another scent to me that smells like spring in a bottle, um, and. A little different than Dorissimo, it smells a bit more modern, and a, I'm not quite sure why when I read the notes, but it smells almost a little buttery, but definitely, I would say it's a composition with lilac being prominent. Um, the notes are spring rain, misty water musk, new grasses, blooming lilies, rosebuds, cyclamen, and white hyacinth. I, I'm surprised I love this scent as much as I do because I find some of these notes to be screechy sometimes, like hyacinth, cyclamen, um, lily even can be. Maybe it's the musk that kind of mellows it or makes it buttery, um, but definitely you can pick out the lilacs in Floralis by Alchemia, so highly recommend, really lovely, new, fun to try. All right. <laughs> Next is, it's funny because it's kind of sold as like, Pacifica is like a natural perfume line that creates scents that tend to smell like one thing. Um, however, to me when I smell this and when I look at the notes, it is actually a composition. So this is called um, Pacifica's French Lilac. I have a roller ball here. I don't know if you can see the name. Um, the roller balls, I think, are 0.33 ounce. They usually run about like 10 to 15. And then the perfumes that are an ounce in a spray bottle tend to run about 20 to 25. Um, so real affordable. The, the notes in this are lilac, hyacinth, heliotrope, magnolia petals, ylang ylang, and nectarine. Um, to me, the, the in addition to the lilac definitely coming through and it smelling like a purple lilac to me, um, it smells, it dries a little powdery, almost old fashioned smelling, and to me in a very good way. Um, and I think that's the heliotrope. For those who aren't familiar, heliotrope is like a cluster of flowers. It's kind of like a lavenderish light color. And a lot of people call it cherry pie plant because it's got this kind of like powdery, almondy, cherry kind of scent. Um, and that, that comes through for me in this especially when it lies or <laughs> dries down. Um, when you first apply it to me, it smells almost exactly like purple lilacs. Definitely you can pick up some of the other elements and then it dries down to be a bit powdery. Really, really pretty, really affordable. So Pacifica's French Lilac. All right, so those to me are three of the compositions. The last two I'm gonna talk about are two that smell to me tremendously like lilac, period. And so for those of you who love lilac, I would say, go for these pretty mm -hmm. safe bet so this one is relatively new to me this is made by a company called oriflame i hope i'm pronouncing that right let me know y'all if i'm not this ran me i found this for about 30 on ebay i think it retails for like 40 or 50. this is a natural swedish uh product company um the notes are pretty simple they are green notes lilac heliotrope woody notes and grass 
Um, or sorry, that's me. No, it's no grass. They just say green notes, but I get a lot of grass in them. Um, so this is called Innocent White, white Lilac, and it smells like white, 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 lilac, white lilac, y'all. It really does. Um, this is a great band. This was produced in 2016. I could not find a nose's name, but you can find it online. Um, really affordable. Smells just like the flower. Really beautiful. Gorgeous great um so or flames innocent white lilac all right last but not least my new love you guys if you love lilac i'm telling you get it now i'm not like now um i read good and bad things about this too and i continue just to, to have experiences where it's like this is such a unique process i love this hopefully you will too i think it smells the closest thing to a lilac i've ever smelled now, when I've read about the process of creating a lilac perfume, and I should ask a couple people I know uh, who are getting to know who her nose is, um, I have read before that lilacs are hard, if not impossible, to extract because whatever process you go through, whether it's a water or steam or oil, uh, whatever process that you're trying to get the scent out of the lilac, it damages the flower to the point where it's not, I've read it's not possible, but yet, when I read about this perfume, um, this their process says that they actually do extract the oil. So that was kind of interesting. So this is called Ro Highland Lilac of Rochester. So this is uh, made in Rochester in the US. Um, this retails for about 50 bucks. And that was one of the reasons um, it's just an ounce that I was kind of holding because there are so many affordable lilac scents. Um, however, when I read that this was such a dominant lilac and that it's, uh, yeah, only features lilac, I was like, okay, I have to try it. I found this bottle marked down for 30 bucks on eBay. I think they retail for 50, yeah. Um, this is freaking gorgeous. I cannot believe it smells exactly, exactly like a purple lilac. I mean, like the scent that blew in my window when I was growing up from the bush outside my house. So cool. Um, this is not super easy to find. Um, I think places like the Vermont Country Store sell it. So it's not really well known and it's not coming from a major like designer house or anything. I'm telling you, it's, it, for those of you who want a lilac scent, this is incredible. Keep a lookout. Again, I got mine marked down for 30 and it's one of the best things I've purchased this year. It's so great. So Highland Lilac of Rochester. Gorgeous. Can't recommend it enough. So those are five of my favorites right now. I would love to hear from you as far as what your favorites are. If there's something I haven't explored, uh, if there's something that you think is underrated. And last but not least, what are you hoping for me to talk about in my channel? Are there a perfumes or a house or a theme I haven't explored that you're dying to hear about? I would love to know. Thanks a lot. Talk soon. Have a great week. Bye.